Hey Scorpios, I am back. Peace, love, light, and healing energy. This is Sasha with Intuitive Scorpio Tarot 888. All right, everybody. So we're going to jump in. We're going to tap into the energy to see what it is that you guys are needing to know. Remember, only take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If you're new, welcome to the channel. I would love to have you. Definitely hit the subscription button. All right, become a part of the Scorpio family. If you are returning, welcome back. Welcome back. All right, so let's see what's going on. All right, spirit angels and guys, I welcome you into this reading for the star sign of Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Show me what I need to see. Channel message reading. Please protect my energy from any dark forces, evil eye, witchcraft, low vibrational energy, any type of witchcraft, spell work, monitoring spirits. Please return that energy back to sender tenfold. So it be. Amen and amen. All right, show me what I need to see. All right, so this card flew out, 444. Four, four. This talks about spiritual awakening and being guided by your guardian angels. All right, so some of you guys may be seeing 444. Four, four. All right, <clears throat> so your guardian angels are guiding you on this journey that you're currently on, no matter what it can be. All right, so let's tap in. Let's see what 444 four, four is bringing about here. All right. Show me what I need to see for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Tell me about 444. And of course, as always, take what resonates, leave what does it. Tell me about 444. Okay. All right. So this flipped out in the reverse. So this card is opposition, which talks about opinionated, stubborn, and tolerant. Hmm. That flipped out in the reverse. Hmm. Tell me more, spirit. So this seems like a karma energy that you're not tolerating or dealing with anymore. All right. So we have secretive here. Tight lip, mysterious, hidden knowledge. So some type of secret or someone is being secretive about something. Hmm. Some of you guys can be uh, keeping secret about your spiritual awakening. Whatever your um, guardian angels are guiding you with, you're not really exposing that to anyone. With the opposition, you're actually removing people, place, and situation that is very like stubborn. You know, people that are opinionated, you're getting rid of those people. People that are keeping secrets away from you as well because you feel as though these people are too risky. You're very suspicious about these type of energies. All right, so let's see what else we need to know here. All right, <clears throat> tell me more about this spirit. Tell me about the 444 spiritual awakening guided by the guardian angel. Show me what I need to see for Scorpio. Four, 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 four. Tell me about this. And I really feel like, you know what? That's secretive energy. I feel like this is the high priestess energy. You've been very quiet lately. You're tuning more into your higher self. You're this sacred divine feminine. So it's like, yeah, you're getting rid of people that are not of your highest good, people who are too intolerable. Wow. Nine of swords here. Hmm. Hmm. Tell me more. Four, four, four. Nine of cups. So nine, nine, nine. Huh. So it seems like someone is worried that you're going to find your wish fulfillment or that you are content without them. You went through a powerful spiritual awakening. Huh. This could be someone that you had a relationship with, okay? This also is someone who may have ghosted you and the cycle has actually closed out. Hmm. Wow. All right, tell me about opposition. Why is opposition in the reverse? <clears throat> yeah, it seems like someone is worried that you are fulfilling your own wishes and emotional joy and happiness on your own without them but i'm going to clarify all right what is opposition tell me about opposition in the reverse oh 
Thank you. All right, so we got two cards here. We have Justice, Libra Energy, and we have, of course, your Energy Scorpio, the Death card. Hmm. So this is Pisces Energy here with the Nine of Cups. Huh. Your spirit team is here. Whoever this, this seems like the same person who's in opposition and reverse and the nine of swords. Hmm. I feel like the reason why you could be removing this person out of your energy because you could have called on your spirit team to bring justice or your spirit team is already um, working behind the scenes for you to bring justice to balance out the scales. Because this person wasn't willing to do the work. They wasn't willing to change and transform their energy. So you decided to go on your own spiritual journey and you went through a powerful awakening. And now this person's worried that you're happy without them or you're fulfilled without them. Mm. So it seems like someone is getting karma. And of course, your energy here, yeah, the Empress, Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you walked away. You took your energy away. Mm -hmm. Because this person wouldn't change. Wow. Wow. All right, so tell me about secretive. Yep, you took your empress energy, your aura, away from this person. And I feel like also with the empress energy that you have evolved as you were on this journey as well. All right, tell me about secretive. I really feel like this is the high priestess energy, but let's see. Oh, 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 oh. Tell me about secretive. All right, so the world card. You wrapped up a cycle. You close out a cycle. You completed a cycle here. Tell me more. What is secretive? And of course, the world card is fixed signs. Of course, Leo, Taurus, and Scorpio. I feel like you're the person that's in this, uh, this like ring. Not only did you wrap up a cycle, I feel as though with that secret of you, I feel like this is very much of the high priestess energy. You're being very protected here. So I feel like there's like some type of level of protection for you from your spirit team. Okay. All right, so we have the Ten of Cups and we have the Eight of Pentacles. It really seems like you started to really focus on yourself, work on yourself after there possibly has been a tower moment between you and someone. Whatever this family or relationship was that you have with someone, it didn't... I feel like whatever this was, it wasn't of your highest good. Something may have came out of nowhere with the tower. Hmm. Three of cups and yeah, see a lot of you guys, you walked away. You do not want to indulge with some friends, family, or this person anymore. You took your dignity and pride and love and you went on a very strong spiritual journey here. Something happened in a relationship where it just came out of nowhere. Some type of chaos, trauma could have happened. Hmm. You could have also shocked this person or these people that you didn't take the bait to <sighs> fix a family or relationship situation. And I feel like you ghosted this person. And now this has them in their head about this relationship here with the Two of Cups. Yeah, you either shock someone by ghosting them and not putting in the work anymore. Hmm. All right, so I'm going to clarify. And of course, take what resonates, leave what doesn't, okay? What is this Nine of Swords? Why is the Nine of Swords here, Spirit, Angels, and Gods? When it comes to 444. Four, 
What's the Nine of Swords? What is this about? Hmm. Ace of Cups here. Why I'm getting like someone feels like or someone is worried that you're going to meet someone new or that you're loving on yourself even more. That you're going to have a new beginning in love because you close off to them and you separated from them. Four of swords. Wow. Six of cups here in the four of wands here. So twin flame soulmate energy. So. This is someone you separated from. You closed off emotionally to them. So this is the energy of little. If you're not trying to work it out with me, you know, someone is in their head thinking that you are not only just loving yourself, but you're giving your love to someone else. Hmm. They're worried like this situation is really over. Hmm. Yeah, someone is like worried that you're going to meet someone else or you're going to find new love elsewhere. What is the Nine of Swords? Tell me more about this. Yeah, like you're going to be emotionally fulfilled elsewhere or that you're happier without them. Yeah, this person's in their head. Eight of Swords. They're in their head about this. They don't know what to think. They don't know what to do overthinking the situation wow seem like someone can't stop thinking about you they're like mentally trapped about your energy and what's going on what you are attracting because yeah you're not wanting to work it out with them hmm. wow someone is having sleepless nights what is the nine of cups Yeah, we got the Tower, the Eight of Cups, and the Two of Cups. The cards are kind of repeating itself. It seems like someone here is shocked that you walked away from the relationship. They can't get this out of their head, Scorpio. You, your energy here. <laughs> Water sign here. Yeah, someone is worried that you want to meet someone else or that you're not wanting to reconcile with them. And that you actually walked away. From this soulmate connection here, yep. And you're choosing to be single and just focus on you. You're pulling back your energy and this person, they're missing you. Yeah, they're missing you. Yeah. All right, what is the justice? It's like you shocked this person. It came as a surprise to them that you loving on yourself. You chose yourself, actually, instead of the relationship. What is justice when it comes to opposition and the reverse? Why is that here? I'm seeing a lot of blue here. So I feel like you spoke your piece, your throat chakra. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, guys. All right. So let me do that over. What is justice? Thank you. All right. Seven of Pentacles. Wow. Someone is reaping what they sow. All because someone didn't want to change. They didn't want to put the work in. Go through the death and the rebirth. And really eat, evolve their energy. They're reaping what they sow. Knight of Swords here in the Strength card. See, because you are holding back and you're standing in your power. And you have indulgence to your inner strength. They're coming to chase after you here. Someone here is very heartbroken and they're wanting to talk to you, communicate with you about reconciling here. They want to reconcile with this Queen of Wands, this divine feminine energy who's also this earth angel. Yeah. They're heartbroken that they're, you know, reaping some type of karma I'm getting. Wow. Tell me more about justice. Yep, someone is reaping what they saw. Them. 
So this person could be a Libra. Oh, child. All right, so let me take the one that flipped over. <clears throat> All right, so we have the three of pentacles. Hmm. Three plus seven is ten. Ten of pentacles. Hmm. Someone here could have dealt with a third party. Or have a, have a third party energy around them. So it seems as though someone could have invested into another situation, whether this can be a job, friendship, another relationship, whatever it was, it was their choice. And that's possibly what changed everything in this relationship here. And this is why you ghosted this person with the Hermit and Wheel of Fortune. Because you felt like they played too many games and they were hiding too many secrets. Yeah. Yeah, you feel like this person was out here cheating, being inconsistent with you. But now someone is wanting to talk. They want to take action to come towards you and apologize clear the air wow a lot of communication here they want to talk about this relationship this family that you guys built yep four of wands 11 11 here that you guys are now separated from yeah so it seems like someone is reaping what they sow when it comes to a third party situation so all of this makes sense why you walked away here yeah what is the death card for scorpio sun moon rising and venus and of course, as always, take what resonates with you. What does it? Let me get a sip of coffee. All right, what's the death card? Death in the reverse. Cancer energy with the chariot, you moved on. So they wouldn't do the work. They wouldn't change. You had no choice but to move on. You had to move on with your life. Yeah, moving on. Because this person was taking too long to commit to a relationship or bring in what you deserve. So you decided not to reconcile with them. You know? You moved on from someone who... It's not that the Knight of Pentacles doesn't want to put in work, okay? The Knight of Pentacles is someone out of all of the nights you really can depend on. They just take their time to do things. But maybe this person was just moving too slow to commit to you, to bring some type of security into the relationship, so you had no choice but to move on. What's the death card in the reverse? Thank you. Yep, the sun. Leo energy. Yeah, I feel like you had a realization to say, hey, they're not going to change. You know, I'm going to have to get rid of this person. You know, they're too stubborn. I can't deal with their energy and you're not willing to change. So I'm just going to let my spirit team of the universe handle the situation. As you reap what you sow, I'm going to continue to move forward. Mm -hmm. Yep, you had to pay this person does move on and focus on yourself, your children, your home, your career. You made sure you stayed disciplined and followed your intuition that you know that this person was trying to one-up you or play games. And this is why you blocked this person out. Two plus five is the seven. Seven of swords. They were sneaky, being deceptive here. So you decided to pick up your things and you moved out of this person's way, basically. Yeah. What's the world card when it comes to secretive? It's like everything came to the light about this person. It just wasn't willing to change, so you had to move on. They could have chose a third party over you. They could have chose work over you, you know. Whatever it was, they collaborated with someone else, and that's what they invested their time into. Oh, excuse me. I gotta... Oh, I thought I had to burp. <laughs> what is the world card when it comes to secretive? So I'm getting someone may have cancer, Leo, or Scorpio. Mm, Libra in their chart. All right. Wow. Wheel of Fortune and the Five of Cups here. Hmm. Yeah. You may have felt like this person was keeping way too many secrets, so you had to close the door. And now someone is in a lot of guilt, remorse, and regret here that, you know, you changed your mind about being with them. 
And the way how things happen between you and this person, this was supposed to happen this way. It may have hurt it for you to walk away, but you had to do what you had to do. Yeah. Wow. They're in a, so much regret that you closed the door. Yeah. What's the Ten of Cups? Ten of Cups and Secretive. I also feel as though your energy is different now. You're not the same woman or same man that you used to be. The lovers, Gemini energy, and the page of pentacles here. So Gemini, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. So, hmm. So it seems like now someone is making a choice to wanting to communicate, start over when it comes to this relationship with this empress here. This person is still holding on to your energy, even though you guys possibly are not physically together. They're still holding on to the fact how sweet and humble and kind that you are, that you're a good woman. You are this divine feminine energy. There's only one of you. There's no one else that's like you. You know? Three of Swords, Ace, Ace of Pentacles. This person knows that they broke your heart. But they want another chance, but you're not here for it. You're turning your back against opening up your heart to this person here. Yeah. And see, the Queen of Cups is facing that Six of Cups. So you're like, no, I have no more energy. I have no more love to give when it comes to this past situation. I'm setting some strong boundaries. I meant what I said, said what I meant, you know, because this is why I don't want to get back with you. Because, again, there go that Knight of Pentacles. You're moving too slow. You're not sticking up for me. You're not showing me that you really want this. And I refuse to be in competition with anybody. You know, if you got to sneak around and deal with other people, then do what you got to do, you know. But I'm going to follow in the most high footsteps and stay in my divine feminine, divine masculine energy, you know. I don't have time for toxicity. Hmm. So it's like they're hoping that you guys can start over, start from the beginning, start fresh. When it comes to this relationship, but someone made a choice to do what they did, you know? Hmm. Possibly I'm getting also someone is choosing to come towards you. It's like now they want to start from scratch now that the cycle has closed and you have changed or, you know, the, what this situation has occurred. You know, this was supposed to happen the way it did, you know? What is the Eight of Pentacles? What's the final card? Oh, thank you. All right, so we got the Five of Wands again and the Knight of Pentacles. So this could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, your person. Yeah. Mm. This person really doesn't have a lot to offer you, Scorpio. They really don't. And it seems like they want to work on fighting for this connection, but they're moving at a snail's pace. It's like... I don't know if this person has wanted to take their time because page, we go from the page to the night here. So I don't know if they're wanting to take their time and rekindle this love, put work into it here. Because that one, that's two, and that's eight here. So ten of pentacles. I don't, it seems like this person wants to fight for this now. Have you back in their life, put the work in that they should have put in from the beginning. Hmm. Kind of like they wanted to work their way up. Four of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and the King of Pentacles. So it seems like this person is wanting to ask for some type of forgiveness or possibly are considering some type of commitment. So we go from the page to the knight to the King of Pentacles. So it seems like someone is trying to build themselves up to be the man or the woman that you need them to be, but they're wanting to start over from scratch. Because with that Four of Pentacles, they're still holding on to your energy. So definitely a strong Capricorn Taurus Virgo here for this person. Yeah. The devil here, nine of pentacles, two of pentacles. Wow, a lot of pentacle energy, a lot of earth energy. Hmm. It seems like this person is obsessed with you to an extent, Scorpio. It seems like they're kind of obsessed with your energy. They still want to have some type of connection with you. Kind of like I'm here and feeling like you're mine. Even though they know right now the position that you have yourself set up for. You really don't need this person for anything. And that's what has them kind of confused or not knowing what to do. They know that they want to come towards you and have this conversation. 
they do want to get your attention some way, way or another, do whatever it takes to get your attention because their intentions are to have this family back, this relationship back, but you are withdrawing your energy. It's like you don't see any future with this person. You've done a lot of soul searching. You just don't see yourself with this person anymore. Yeah. You're ready to have a new beginning for yourself. You're ready to just lay all this to rest. You're not interested in reconciling right now. And this is what has this person feeling very bummed out, stressed out, don't know what to think because they are sitting here praying that you guys can come back together or try to heal this connection with the star, five of pentacles. Yeah, they know that you're a chosen one, star seed energy, and they know that they can have stability and security with you. They're definitely missing you here. But because this person played a lot of games, this is why you freed yourself and went on your own spiritual journey. You're freeing yourself of giving too much to someone. And this really hurt you. Yeah. It hurt you to really let this person go. Because, you know, before I feel like you saw some type of potential. But, you know, sometimes, you know, potential is not enough nowadays. You know, you got to really come with the shits. So don't get me wrong. You know, if this person is really trying to work on themselves or... Work on their inner demons or whatever they have inside of them that's causing them to not be where they need to be in life. You know, it's nothing wrong with giving someone a chance, but, you know, they have to communicate that with you. Even though they re they're in a lot of sadness, that, the seek that, you know, the cycle has closed. But they have to understand that now that you have went through your spiritual awakening, you are being guided by your spirit guides to kind of stay quiet. Don't say much, you know, let the cycle close. It is what it is. You know, this is fated and destined to happen when it came to this relationship. And maybe this is going to force this person to really put in the work now. But, you know, of course, it's their choice. It's their free will. But you had to do what you had to do to walk away from the situation. And it seems like, you know, they are reaping what they sow. And, and this is all because they didn't want to change. This almost like someone became your op, you know. And you got rid of the op. You just let your spirit team just deal with this. Because you're trying to follow the right path. And while you're on this right path, you're being guided to be quiet, don't say much, you know, move in silence, don't expose everything that you're doing. And that's what this person's worried about, that you're happier without them. And it really shocked them that you walk away from this relationship. So now they're wanting to come back to start over, have a new beginning, start fresh with you, you know. They're worried that you're going to find love somewhere else, you know. All right, Scorpio, so this is what I have for you guys. Thank you so much for joining me in this reading. I appreciate you guys so much. Don't forget to thumbs up the video, comment below if this is your situation, subscribe. I would love to have you, and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.